and we are live welcome to the live stream everyone i hope you're having a wonderful saturday wherever you are in the world not too late today uh 10 past nine where i am uh so just just a little late 10 minutes late um yeah, I hope everyone's good. Uh, we've already got chats going on. Um, Dale and Joanne, how's it going? Hope you're both good. Hey, Dale. Dale's here. Uh, nice, good to see you. Uh, just let me know that you can hear it okay. Um, got some kind of some new new stuff I'm playing with, which is... Uh, always a risk with a live stream, you know, if you've got new gear uh, that you're trying out, that uh, you never know what's going to happen, but hopefully it'll be all right. Um, it looks okay on my on my monitor. Uh, yeah, just let me know if you want me to turn up the volume and stuff like that. Nice. Uh, from Bulgaria. Hey, how's it going? I can't even read your name. Uh, it's in Bulgarian. I'm not even going to try. Um, all right, I'm going to be. I'm going to give it a go. Here we go. Um, book, book top, book top. Oh, I'm probably butchering that. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Nice one. Good to see so many people here already. Wow. Um, yeah, so today is just going to be, I'm just going to play songs and we're just going to chat. Um, and it's not necessarily for the guitarists, although probably 90% of you are guitarists. So we're going to talk guitar. It's just going to happen. Um, but this is also for my listeners as well, because there are some people that um, just listen to my music and are not, you know, too, too into the guitar stuff. Um, so... You know, I don't want to go too heavy into it, um, but of course, feel free to ask questions and, you know, I'm sure we're going to gonna have some interesting conversations. Um, so I just want to, just going to hear the levels. I'm just adjusting my levels right now because um, I've actually got, I've actually got my pickup coming through as well. Um, ah, it's Victor. It's Victor. Okay. Oh, I completely... Mess that one up. Okay. Hey, Victor, how's it going? Uh, yeah, if you could, everyone let us know where you're joining us from in the live stream. Um, that would be amazing. Um, just to, just out of interest, you know, I love to know where, uh, where everyone's joining from um, today where in the world uh, I'm in Berlin and it's, it's coming up to quarter past nine in the evening here and I'm actually I'm nursing a bit of a cold today uh, it's recently got really cold in Berlin so I got this huge ridiculously huge cup of tea that I'm drinking uh, sorry I'm just gonna need to drink this every so often and try not to spill it um, and, uh, you know, to soothe my throat as we go here. Um, all right, so I got the pickup coming through and I just got a little bit of reverb just in the pickup. Um, but the microphone is completely dry. This is a large diaphragm condenser by Neumann. I'm trying out a few microphones at the moment, so I thought I'd give this one a try. It's a TLM 107, uh, which of course sounds lovely because it's it's Neumann. Um, yeah, really enjoying using this. Uh, yeah, hey Chris, how's it going? Good evening, Fabian. I have news to share. Nice. Always wanted to buy an older Loudon. Well, at least I was able to buy. A 20 year old guitar okay nice it's but it's an Avalon okay <laughs> well they're very similar you know um, they're almost the same you know didn't didn't George go over to Avalon at some point 
So they're pretty much the same, aren't they? Um, interesting how things develop. Nice. Yeah, Avalons are also great. I've never played an Avalon myself, but I know people that, that, that use them. And they look, they look very the same as, as, as Loudon's. Huh? Nice. Yeah, I've actually got another another um, cedar and and mahogany back in sides, and uh, but it's not an O model. It was before. It was during the time that they they made the guitars in Japan, and uh, they made about in the eighties for about five years. They made about a thousand a year, so only five thousand of these guitars were available. Um, but they, they, they tried to make them a little bit cheaper than Loudon's, um, but they stopped for some reason. Um, but they were still really, really good guitars, and I've got one, um, but it's in bad need of repair. The whole back has, like, it's all cracked and everything, and um, and I've just had it sitting in my case. I haven't really played it much. Uh, it's kind of unplayable, um, because until you get the back fixed, really, the you know, there's not enough support to... Um, you know, to tighten the strings and stuff. So um, it's a shame. It's a lovely guitar. I'm going to get it fixed at some point. Um, I actually asked Loudon at some point. I sent it to them and asked them how much it would cost to fix it. And they gave me quite a high price and they said, well, it's not worth It's not worth repairing. Uh, you might as well just buy, <laughs> buy a new one, you know. Um, so, uh, but I'm still going to get it repaired at some point, you know. Because it's it, there's some history there in that guitar, even though it's not it's not a loud and made in the in 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 Northern Ireland, you know. Um, yeah, so welcome everyone. How's it going? Uh, Clark and Wells is here. Hey, how's it going, Andy? <laughs> Glad you can join us. Awesome. Um, Joanne's here. Dale's here. Victor's here. Uh, nice. I'm just going to start with a song, uh, see how my throat uh, holds up, you know. Um, and yeah, so if you can, everyone just uh, let me know where you're joining us from in the world. You don't have to be too specific, you know, uh, just the rough area. <laughs> uh, you, you can if you want to, you know, all, all good. Um, yeah, this one, I'm going to start with Nobody's Fault But Mine. Nobody's fault but mine, and nobody's fault but mine. If I don't read, my soul be lost. And I have a Bible in my home, and I have a Bible in my home. If I don't read, my soul be lost. Mother, she taught me how to read. Mother, she taught me how to read. If I don't read, my soul be lost. Nobody's fault but
Mother, she taught me how to read. Mother, she taught me how to read. If I don't read, my soul belongs. Sister, she taught me how to read. Sister, she taught me how to read. If I don't read, my soul belongs. All right, Whew. got a bit carried away on that one. Ah, oh, to sort my hair out. Ugh. Okay, uh, so welcome everyone. How's everyone doing? I hope you're good. Uh, welcome to the live stream. So this one, I'm just gonna be playing songs, answering questions um, and you know, Feel free to answer to ask any questions really. There's no uh yeah, there's no specific topic like normal. It it can be kind of whatever and I'm gonna I'm just gonna be playing some songs. I have um I have my pickup coming through and have a few effects that I'm kind of trying out. Uh, you may have heard in that one, uh, got a bit carried away in that one. Um, but uh, yeah, with everything, you know, it's all in moderation, I feel. Try not to overuse uh, any effects or anything like that. Let's go to the comments. Um, yeah, Christopher says, uh, are you using a footrest while playing? Yeah, I am. I am. I I generally really like having a footrest. Um, it just kind of having the guitar up a little bit, you know, kind of feels nicer for me, you know. Um, and there's, there's definitely guitarists out there that do that. Although um, I can imagine that because I have it, it's quite high, I guess. Because I have, you know, I'm not like, I don't, I don't have the guitar like a classical position, you know. Um, if it was a, like a classical position, it would be kind of like this, you know, my hand would be down like this, um, which, which is a lot more natural, you know, like my shoulders are straight kind of thing, you know. Um, I can imagine with time, I'm gonna get issues with this shoulder um, apparently it's something that, uh, Pierre Bensuzen, uh, went through. I think I heard something on like a Instagram post or something like this. He, cause he had a loud and, and uh, this size guitar, you know, this very make, um, 
and he had a, he had a foot rest as well on the right foot, and he had it resting on the right uh, right leg. You know, um, I think he had some developed some some shoulder problems, but you know, um, for now it's fine. You know, my shoulder's fine, but I don't know. Maybe in the future I'll have to find some other way if I do get problems in the shoulder or have a smaller guitar. <laughs> I don't know. For now, it's okay though. You know, it's. Uh, but yeah, I do use a footrest. Um, yeah. So, Victor says, "Love the minimalist, minimalistic setup and the raw feeling of the performance." Thanks so much. Yeah, appreciate that. So, if you don't know, I just assumed that everyone, uh, everyone knew. Um, if you don't know, uh, that song, Nobody's Fault But Mine, was a guy by, uh, my version of that, it's a, it's a gospel song, you know, a uh, gospel blues song, and my version of that is by a guy called Blind Willie Johnson, um, you know, and he was one of these blues guys, uh, in the US, you know, and obviously he was blind, and he had such a hard life. Um, from a young age, you know, it was his stepmom that uh, that blinded him as a kid. Um, all kinds of troubles, you know. He he went through so much in his life. Um, I really recommend to anyone if you haven't heard any of Blind Willie Johnson, you really listen to it, you know, because it's uh, it's really powerful. He's considered one of the best slide players of all time by many many you know great guitarists so uh, definitely worth checking out the original recordings you know of these of these songs i you know i, I play a lot of like traditional songs and um blues songs and, and and this kind of thing you know um also obviously my own songs as well um hey daniele How's it going? <laughs> Finally. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I've uh, I got a bit of a cold today. Finally, you're here. Awesome. Joanne says, and what make Loudon you playing? I've been looking for Loudons, but there's so many of them to choose from. Yeah, uh, this is a, a 010 model. Uh, it's basically their jumbo size, the O model, and it's cedar top and mahogany back and sides. Um, they don't make the O10 anymore. I think it's the O22, which they make. Um, I haven't looked in a while, but you can you can generally pick up secondhand ones fairly um, of this sort of the O10. And I don't know anymore though. I haven't looked in a while. Um, but yeah, there's lots, there's lots out there. It's worth just going to a shop and just trying them. You know, there are, a few, there's lots of shops that have a big range of Loudons. Um, I can't, I don't know any, you're in the, you're in New York, huh, Joanne? Um, I don't know any shops in the, in New York, but I'm sure, I'm sure there's some great guitar shops in New York with Loudons that stock Loudons, you know? Um, they're all really nice. It just depends on your preference of your the 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 body size and 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 everything like this, you know. Um, and it's worth doing research on the different wood types and the different kind of sounds and uh, you can get the, the the I really like cedar top cedar cedar top. That's uh, it's a it's a soft wood, you know. So it, it's obviously it scratches really easily. Um, but it has a more kind of resonant and mellow sound, I find. It just kind of suits, for me, what I, the kind of sound that I want, you know? Um, yeah. All right. Uh, some more people coming in. How's it going? Aaron, how's it going? Good to have you here. Welcome to the live stream. Aaron says, uh, great performance, Fabian. Thanks so much. 
Uh, what is the ratio between the pickup and the microphone in terms of volume? And what effects are you using today? Um, I have, I have, what is the ratio between them? Obviously the microphone is, is, is higher. I can actually show you. Sorry if there's any non-guitarists out there. Andy, I know you're one of them, but I'm sure you'll, you'll, you'll uh, find this interesting anyway. <laughs> I can, uh, here, I'm actually using the Neumann MT48, which I'm trying out, which is an amazing, amazing audio interface. Um, I can show you here, because I thought this question would come up. Um, and I, it's got a touch screen on, and it's just, it's so much more than an audio interface. Uh, you can use it for so much, and you can basically pick preamp. Um, so I've got the preamp the on 46.5, that's the gain. Um, that's, that's this microphone, basically, I've got that at. Um, yeah, and you can do so much here. It's, it's really amazing to use like a touch screen um, because it's so tactile and it's just really, really nice to use. Uh, anyway, your, <laughs> your question was, so that's, uh, that was that one, the 40, 46.5. And then, um, the pickup I've got like here on line three, 12.5, you know? Um, so that's in terms of DB, you know, the, 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 the pickup is like minus 18 roughly. Roughly speaking, it's hitting kind of minus 18 dB. And then the, the, the microphone is obviously, you can see, hitting like at peak around six, minus six dB. Hope that uh, clarifies things. <laughs> I knew this would come up, but I, I'm really, in, really enjoying using this, uh, this audio interface at the moment. Um, so any chance I can, I can get to use it and to talk about it, you know, I really like. So yeah, the pickup is just to add, you know, that little kind of tiny little bit of reverb. <laughs> Andy says, I'm enjoying the show, brother. Okay, great, fantastic. Um, yeah, you know, so the, the, and the effects that I'm using, it's similar to what I've been talking about in past videos. I'm using kind of um, my preamp and then a, an a Empress Parrot EQ and then a Hall of Fame Mini is actually the, my main reverb today. And then I've got another channel, so I'm running stereo. Another channel is connected to a volume pedal, so then when I want, and I did this in the Nobody's Fault But Mine, I can just bring in these different effects. So now I've got the Strymon on some kind of uh, mode effect. So you can kind of hear this now coming in. You hear that? Right, so I can kind of just bring it in whenever I want. It raises the volume slightly, uh, which I don't mind too much. So I'm using it like an expression pedal. Here. Um, and I've got some other effects I can experiment around with as well. Um, yeah, so that's kind of my main, my main stuff I'm using. Um, here I was saying I wouldn't talk about gear and guitars and <laughs> no, it's all good. I love it. I love it. Um, so we got a few people from around the world today. Um, I can just show you guys because I got this like map, this map that connects to all your comments um, and it picks up whenever you say like uh, where you're joining us from. So I can show you on the screen here. Um, yeah, so... All around the world today, you can see where people are joining us. These dots are where people are joining us from. Abu Dhabi, we've got uh, in France, Dale's in France. <laughs> and uh, we've got two in the US, Joanne's in New York. And um, Daniele is in, uh, where's that? Knoit. Is that Ohio? No, I don't know. Not too far from New York, huh? Or is that quite far? <laughs> My knowledge of the States is, is quite bad. Um, 
Yeah, so people, when you join in, uh, let us know where you're joining us from. Um, and you'll, I'll add you to the map and we can see where we're all joining in from. I just need another sip of my tea, sorry. Because um, I don't want my voice, I don't want to completely lose my voice today. Um, yeah, Daniele says, uh, what about next gigs? Yeah, I'm, good question, good question. Next gigs, uh, I still don't know yet. I still, because my, you know, my situation at the moment is I'm very much staying at home. And, you know, if I do a gig, I can do gigs in, in Berlin, of course, and I want to. It's just, uh, it's been quite full on lately, you know, and it's, it's, it's quite hard to, um, you know, it's quite hard um, to, uh, to, to pluck the, the, not the courage, I guess the, the, the um, momentum to, uh, to get out. Um, <laughs> I'm just seeing on the comments that the maps got everyone wrong. Uh, sorry about that. Um, Daniele, yeah, Daniele is in Italy. It thought you was you were in the states, and Dale is not in France. I thought Dale was you're in the states, huh? Dale, you're in the U.S. So uh, yeah, I have no idea why it's why it's saying these things, but uh, oh well, <laughs> that's funny. Um, maybe it'll correct itself. <laughs> Okay, Kevin, how's it going? Watching from the UK near Reading, nice. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do another song now, guys. Um, so I gotta look at my uh, my set list, what I'm doing. Um, yeah, you may have heard this next one uh, in in one of my YouTube videos called I Must Live All Alone. It's a classic traditional song, English song uh, from the south of England. And it's a classic about a, a fair maid uh, lamenting for her true love to come back from sea. I did it on a video where I was talking about using a uh, one mic to record and I was using a really nice ribbon microphone on that one yeah so it's I must live all alone
Since I was eleven, sweethearts I had seven, and then I would look upon none. But now all in vain I must sigh and complain, for my true love has left me alone. For my true love has left me. That was I Must Live All Alone. Please excuse me because um, I'm, uh, I'm leaking from my nose. Uh, <laughs> I just kind of blow my nose out of camera. Sorry, I can't. First time I've uh, blown my nose on a live stream. Uh, sorry, I, I do apologize everyone if I'm being disgusting but um you know it's it's really distracting when i can feel my nose leaking and i'm trying to get into the music in the moment and it's just like oh, no, please don't please don't drip all over me um sorry everyone um but uh yeah that was i must live all alone i've been trying to uh trying to get get through this cold for the past week <clears throat> uh do apologize all right um but you know we'll crack on we'll crack on through um go to the chats uh christopher says i guess my location is messed up too because i'm in germany yeah i don't know I'll uh, I'll ignore the map for now. I think uh, I don't think it does a <laughs> very good job. I could have done a better job just manually putting in myself, just seeing the comments and manually putting in uh, where <laughs> where people are joining from. Um, but yeah, uh, Christopher says, "What a lovely song! Thanks so much." Yeah, uh, I like it too. I've never I've never that's never been on an album. Although it was this song was on my. Um, was on my last album, but uh, I did a very different version of it on uh, different instruments and, and stuff like this. But uh, yeah, maybe I should do it another another version of this this song. Um, I keep meaning to put my songs that I put on YouTube uh, just on Spotify. You know, I should really do that. It's quite easy for me to do that. Just put them up on Spotify to people. A lot of people have been commenting on saying you should just totally put this up. Um, I think I'll do that. Maybe I'll make like a separate album called YouTube Songs or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah. Clark and Wells. Hey, Andy. How's it going? Amazing song. I just got told off for <laughs> applauding because you can't hear me. <laughs> Yeah, nice one. Thanks. Thanks for the applause. Um, yeah. And Victor says, it's cool. Don't sweat about it. Admirable that you the, the stream with a cold, that you do a stream with a cold. Yeah. Um, you know, I like these. I really like these live streams that I do. I do them every Saturday. You know, I think it's because also I can't, um, 
or my situation and you know i'm not i'm not touring as much um but going out there gigging you know this is this is a really easy way of me to do this you know with especially with a, a family and everything like this and um you know it's it's quite it's quite easy for me to just hop online you know it's it might not be as as nice as face to face but you know it's it's still building connection and you can still hear me um you know and it's still fun and it's very easy um christopher says if i were to wish for a song of yours to in interpret it would be Brackag Hill? I think that song suits your voice. Ah, okay. Brackag Hill. You know what? I never even I never heard of that song. Who sings that? I'd have to I have to look that up right now, sorry. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Or spelling that right. <laughs> I'll look that up after the after the stream. Um, yeah, yeah. Thanks so much. I'll uh, I'll check that song out. I'm always looking for songs. You know, I'm I've never I've never really been comfortable doing covers. That's why, you know, I really like traditional songs and and blues songs. I think they kind of suit my voice a bit better as well, and I'm just more comfortable doing them. Um, but uh, you know, I've 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 never been too comfortable doing uh, sort of you know classic songs and stuff like this. I always feel like I'm not doing the song justice. Um, yeah. Hold on one sec. I just need to sort my headphones out. Give a a quick cough. Sorry. <coughs> Uh, all this hair I need to get I need to get a haircut I really do um, it's, it's getting too long now it's getting crazy all right here we go uh, who else is here Giovanni ciao <laughs> and uh, Kevin uh, hi Stuart he said, hi, Stuart. Who's Stuart? Mentioning. <laughs> I mentioned knowing you and then you appear. Laugh out loud. I don't get it. <laughs> Stu, I am here. I see. Uh, Uncle Stu. Are you, are you guys talking about my dad? My dad's name is Stuart. Ah, my dad's here. Hey, dad. <laughs> If that is Stuart Holland, if that is my dad, maybe it's just a coincidence. It's somewhere else. What are you doing up this early, Dad? You're never up this uh, this early, this late. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll um. I tell you what, I'll do another song. I'll do another song. Um, this is actually a request from my dad. So this is quite handy, Dad, that you're that you're in the stream. This is a song that was inspired by a uh, a blues uh, blues slash jazz uh, piano player called Otis Spann. I say he's more blues, um, but uh, he was he was in the 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 era of those sort of blues Chicago players um, that were coming up, you know, and. Uh, he was. If you haven't heard of Otis Spann, he's he really he did some really really nice tunes, and he was an amazing piano player. And I wanted to write a song kind of inspired by by him, really. Uh, so this is so this is that. We'll see we'll see how my my voice holds up for this, but uh, we'll give it a go. Uh, it's called "She Don't Love Me." Yeah, 
I love my baby, but she don't love me. And I love my baby, but she don't love me. She's just the cutest thing that I've ever seen. She loves everyone but me. That was She Don't Love Me. And uh, <laughs> I haven't played that song in so long. I made so many mistakes in that. Hopefully people didn't notice. But, uh, whoa, boy. That was... Uh, that, uh, that really pushes me things like this to, to really like, okay, I should really practice my songs more, you know. Um, and not like the day of the gig or the live stream, you know. So just like every so often, um, this is something. Because once you have like a collection of songs, you know. Hold on, I need to sort my hair out again. Um, then, you know, it's not as easy to remember them all. Especially if you have like someone, a request in a gig you know, of a song that you haven't played in literally years, um, even though you wrote it, you know, it's it's still, it's hard to, to, to keep them up and like, okay, I haven't done this one in a while, I should really do it again, you know. I think I almost have to ha have little reminders every like three to six months of, you haven't played this one in a while, let's just practice it, you know, just go through it, just, uh, and just, keep it uh keep it in there because it'd be sad you know if i start forgetting my songs um 
sometimes it gets so bad that I have to, I have to like, uh, <laughs> I have to listen to my own album, you know, to, 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 to know, to learn, relearn my own songs again. Um, yeah. Wonder if anybody else has that has that issue that has a load of songs. Do you forget songs a lot? I'm really bad with that. But anyway, that's a, that's a really nice song. I really enjoy uh, playing that one. Ah, thank you, everyone. Got some round of applause. Uh, yeah, I didn't mess it up too bad then. <laughs> um, but yeah, but that's on my latest album actually, um, under the Red Island Bakery. You can listen to that one. That's that's on Spotify uh, and every all other streaming platforms and on YouTube and everywhere, obviously. Uh, yeah. So how's everyone doing? Hope you're well. Uh, for people that have just uh, that have just joined the live stream, so this one I'm literally just I'm playing my songs and we're talking about whatever whatever comes up. You know, if you have any questions, please feel free. You know, that's why I'm here, to connect with you guys and uh, answer any questions. Any, you know, I say, like, I don't, I, it's, uh, it's not a, it's not a guitar related uh, live stream, but I think still most of you are guitarists and musicians. So, you know, don't, don't feel like you can't ask guitar related questions. I think it's just like this one, it's not about a specific subject, whereas other live streams normally you know, I talk about uh, a specific thing, a topic, you know, um, and I find that kind of helps. But this one, it's just, you know, because I have listeners that just listen to my music and they're not guitarists, uh, which is cool. And uh, this is kind of for them as well, you know. Um, yeah. Just go to the chat here. Ah, yeah, my dad says, hello from Abruzzo. Hey, dad, how's it going? <laughs> nice one. Got people all around the world today. I'm trying out some new, trying out some new gear stuff, some uh, microphone. Um, this one here is a Neumann microphone, TLM 107. Uh, it's a large diaphragm condenser. It's very, very nice. Very nice sounding, very clean and clear sounding microphone. What I love about this one, you can change the polar pattern as well on this, um, which is really handy for certain situations, you know. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, moving on. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do an old one now. It's called Mad Eric. Um, shout out to anyone that is here that is from uh, Farnham, my my hometown in the uh, southeast of England. Um, there was this guy called. Uh, I don't even know if his name was Eric, but we called him Mad Eric as kids, and we were kind of mean to him, you know. Um, he he appeared to be drunk, and he had a crutch, and he would, uh, you know, we were we were kind of uh, older kids, a little bit older, but not teenagers yet. I think um, I don't think, it, but we were, you know, we were on like skateboards and skates and stuff, and. We'd zoom past him, and and he'd go and shout at us and stuff like this, and um, yeah, and uh, I didn't really think much of it then as a kid, you know. Um, but I kind of created this song about him, or I didn't even know him or know his story, but I kind of created this song, kind of in my mind, um, this narrative about him. Um, and uh, yeah, this is this is that song. It's Mad Eric. I don't think I'll do. I'm not going to do the whole song. 
I'll do like a, I'll do like a verse or two and and a few choruses and stuff. But I, you get the gist because it's 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 quite a long song. It's on from my first album, which was released um, 2013, ten years ago now. My first album, which is crazy. Um, yeah, I need to get on it and, and start and release another album because uh, it's been three albums and it's been ten years. Um, fourth one is due soon. Uh, just need to finish writing it. <laughs> Here we go, it's Mad Eric. to himself with a crutch at his left hand he walks with his help ain't got no money can't afford nothing else drinks all day falls over himself and searching around these streets he roams and people's fall and change it's cold outside yeah, near home it's pouring down with rain harry don't have no home no money no job nowhere to go no I'm a not sanity and this ain't funny Cause half of it you don't know Yeah, they call him Mad Eric when his kids walk by Curses, shouts and fists the sky Crazy old man they call him, but why? Crazy old man they say Go Eric, go Play that blues, you know You find it hard to go you're hungry, cold, tired, and broke. Every day's the same, just gets worse. Ain't got no one on this earth. Go, every go. Play that blues, you know. 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 Go play that blues, you know. Find it hard to go. You're hungry, cold, tired, and broke. Every day is the same, just gets worse. Ain't got no one on this earth. Go, every go. Go, every go. Go, every go. Play that blues, play that blues, play that blues. I'll oh, play that blues. Play that blues, 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 I play that blues, 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 you know, play that blues, you know. Blues, you know. Play that blues, you know. Play that blues, you know.
Eric. Hope everyone's doing well on this Saturday, wherever you are. We're in Berlin, and it's uh, it's ten o'clock already. Wow. Okay. Uh, wow. I've been going. I've been going for almost an hour already. Whoo. All right, hope everyone's well. I'll just go to the to the comments. How's everyone doing? Um, Daniela says, I do love another Monday. Could you tell that story of this song? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the It's basically inspired by the birth of my son. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just, I, I found it completely crazy how it's it's it was the most terrifying and the most amazing day um of our lives you know um when when our son was born um but to everyone else it was just another monday <laughs> and that, that was the basic kind of idea of the song um that you know we had this this kid and this he was born in london actually in the middle of the city and it was just so surreal um and you know for anyone that uh that hasn't that hasn't had a had a been through that um it's completely insane it really is um and you're there for well we were there for like in the hospital for a few days uh, and then they they release you with with this with this baby you know um <laughs> and it's just uh, completely insane and at that that time it was we got released you know because you're just in this world um for you know a few a few days or whenever how long and then we left in the middle of the night and it was snowing and it was just completely unreal and bizarre and amazing at the same time you know uh, so that that's kind of the 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 story behind <laughs> behind another Monday. Glad you like it. Yeah, I like I like that song. Um, Clerk and Wells uh, says everyone just adopted the mad part because his tenacious uh, always oh, his tendencies to go crazy at everyone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, that's Andy, by the way. He's uh, I grew up with him. He's in the chat. Hey, Andy. Um, yeah, absolutely. That's Mad Mad Eric. He's talking about there. Oh, Neil Wallbank. Neil Wallbank is in the house. How's it going, Neil? Good to have you here. Um, all right. Joanne says beautiful song. Really enjoyed. Thanks so much, Joanne. Thank you. Uh, Mississippi Blues, how's it going? Good to have you in the live stream. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Andy says, chills. <laughs> nice. Okay. I'm going to keep it moving. I'm going to keep it moving because it's uh, 10 past 10 already, you know. And uh, my tea's running out, uh, which is which is not a good sign, you know. I thought like, oh, this, this, this cup will last me a good while, but... You know, I don't want to damage my voice too much. Um, so this next one I'm going to do is a song called Memories. This is a new song, and um, I apologize to anyone that has heard this a lot of times in my live streams. I really like playing new songs. That's why I forget old ones, you know, <laughs> because I'm just, uh, I, I just really like, when you get a new song, does anyone know that feeling when you, when you, you're writing a new song and maybe you haven't even finished writing it yet. I haven't even finished writing this song and I'm, I play it all the time. I uh, just need to know which capo, which fret I'm on the fifth fret. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's just one of these songs that I really like. <laughs> I really enjoy uh, playing. So I'm going to play it for you. It's called Memories. It's not even released yet or anything like this. But it's uh, it's the whole idea of this song is based around um, how we have these memories as kids. And especially, I think, uh, my 
generation or younger, you know, maybe a generation older than me um, wouldn't necessarily have these problems because they'll have, you know, I didn't have, I was born in 86 and, uh, you know, I don't have much footage or anything of my childhood. Um, it's just kind of snapshots of memories and a lot of it is smells as well, you know, and like these, these really random sort of senses I have as uh, as a childhood um, and because obviously I don't have much footage um, and and maybe it would be the same thing if I did have lots of footage of 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 my childhood but anyway um, it's based around this idea that it's it it's kind of nice having these little snapshots you know of 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 my childhood and um, one particular thing we used to go to, I grew up in the southeast of England, and we used to go to the, the coast a lot, you know, because you can get to the sea really easily. Um, we used to go almost every weekend. Um, and it was just really fun for me, you know. A lot of beaches in the UK, you know, that they, they have huge tides. So when the tide's out, it's like you can run for miles, you know. There's just sand as far as you can see. Um, it's really amazing, although it can be very dangerous <laughs> because the tide can kind of creep up on you behind you and stuff and you find yourself kind of, you know, on and surrounded by water. So you need to be careful, but um, it's still amazing. So that's kind of my memory of I have and these sort of snapshots of, of just uh, random senses and random sort of, uh, yeah, snapshots of memory. So this is this is. That's the inspiration of this song called Memories. southern coast what I enjoyed the most was the sun on the lovely sea fresh sea air it smelled the best when the tide was out we used to run and shout release the bird in me the memory of that feeling was so free Sunday morn, me dad said, everyone in the car, I don't have to drive too far, I roll my window down, radio on and blasting, cruising steadily, who can see the sea, is the first to make a sound, and I'm the first to say what I have found.
between my toes Sun cream, it's on my nose The water comes up to my knees It's these moments of memory That was Memories. All right. Just need to blow my nose again, guys. Sorry. One sec. Ah, it's all coming out. Here we go. Whew. All right. Ah. Uh. Dale says, I think we all know someone like Matt Eric. Uh, yeah, need to be more kind. Absolutely. Um, yeah, youth, youth, as youth, we're not as kind as we should be. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's uh, totally true, you know. You know, we learn as we get older, don't we? For sure. Okay. Um, thanks so much, Kevin. Thank you so much. If you've just joined the live stream, um, welcome. I have a cold. <laughs> but... So in this one, we're just talking about, um, we're talking about, we're, we're talking about anything pretty much. Um, I'm just kind of playing my songs and um, I'd like to do this now and again. Uh, I would like to do this more because a lot of my live streams have just kind of been about a certain topic, you know, uh, which is also great. I really like that. Um, but I also just like just playing songs, you know. Um, that's also fun. Uh, yeah. And so what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? I'll do a few more, you know. I'll do a few more. I don't want to go on too long. How's everyone feeling about it? You know, it's, is it late where everyone is? Um, you know, I don't want to go... I'm in, I'm kind of enjoying myself right now, um, but at the same time, I know my voice is a little bit uh, struggling, <laughs> a little bit struggling. Uh, what I might do is I'll do a few songs. Um, I'll do like three more, and then uh, and then what I might do? I had an idea. I might go over to. Uh, to Instagram and do a little Instagram live if anyone's on Instagram that follows me um, just because I want to try it you know I, I've I figured out a way to kind of do it on the similar setup um, 
uh, just to see see how that goes, you know. Uh, but that will definitely be a lot more kind of uh, chilled out, and uh, I'll just be doing random, making random noises or whatever. I don't know what I'll be doing. <laughs> Probably less singing and just giving my voice a bit of a break. Um, yeah, Clark and Wells. <coughs> Uh, I should I just just call you Andy, you know, because that's your name. I just say Clerk and Wells because that's the name on your profile. Um, spring, yeah, you know what? I haven't played Spring. First off, I haven't played Spring in probably like five years or something, maybe even more. You know, uh, I definitely couldn't play it for you right now. Also, it's in a completely different, obscure tuning. So I'd have to detune the guitar completely, you know, just for that song and then put it in. Um, but it's nice that you like that song. Yeah, if, if, you have, if no one's heard of that song, it's a song I did on my second album called Spring. It's kind of just a nice, hopeful song, you know, about spring. And it's uh, tried to make it a bit humorous as well. Uh, it's on my second album. You can check it out. But um, And Neil, Neil as well says, home, if you haven't done it already. Um, <laughs> it's all uh, everyone's suggesting ones that I I haven't played in years. I'm really sorry, guys. I I'll I tell you what I'll I'll put spring and home on the next live stream. Um, it's these are also ones they they happen to be in the same tuning though. But um, yeah, I should definitely practice before I play them because I haven't played them in in so long in so so long um but yeah it's good to know good to know that you guys enjoy that one so i can put that on the set list for next time dale says he's really enjoying this fantastic i'll keep going then uh great um another monday yeah i could put that one in for sure i could do another monday um i know that one <laughs> um yeah, why didn't I why didn't I do that one next then? Um, I was gonna do another Monday, and then I was gonna do the river because um, I enjoy playing that one. Uh, and then I'll and then I'll end. I'll do the, I'll do the last one. I'll do. Uh, Hard Time Killing Floor Blues for the end one because it's I really enjoy playing that one and I'm kind of m messing around with with the performance of that a little bit so I'm going to try a few things out on that one um, alright this is another Monday It's just 
just another Monday This bubble we are And we've made it thus far Ten hours in But the next thirteen hours Will be harder still And that's when it begins My, oh my, what a sigh As your mum holds me tight as she breathes On the next push She'll be here And just wait and see One, two, three Oh, the weather is bad And the traffic's the same To anybody else It's just another Monday And all them people are mad And the trains are delayed mm, To anybody else It's just another Monday was another Monday. Hope everyone's doing really well on this Saturday, Saturday evening here in Berlin. And I'm running out of tea, so I uh, I need to do the next, uh, need to finish it on the next couple of songs, but uh, it's been really nice, everyone. Uh, joining this this live stream it's been really fun i should do more of these just uh just songs you know for sure um i'll just go to the go to the chat here uh, neil says i forgive you <laughs> great to hear your songs live again <laughs> thanks neil um uh, and he says, Ook then I don't understand. Uh, but as Neil says, it's great hearing you play songs. I guess the next stream it is then. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'll try and put these on the next stream. Uh, absolutely. Abs absolutely. Um, 
And Dale says, what headstock tuners are on your Loudon? They're like the, they're like this Loudon. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> they say like Loudon, they've got the Loudon mark on them. Um, so they're just, they were like land, Loudon branded headstock tuners. I don't know if they still put them on the tuners still. They might use different ones these days. Um, but yeah, it was Loudon's own brand. They're pretty good. Uh, they're pretty solid. They don't uh, they don't come loose at all. Or they haven't yet, so they've lasted a long time. Um, Dale says, "Keep going." <laughs> yeah. I'll go as long as I can, as long as my voice uh, allows me to, for sure. Uh, just need to do a cough. Sorry. <coughs> ah. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, what a cozy evening. Thank you, Fabian. Thanks, Christopher. That's really nice. It is nice and cozy. Um, and Daniela says, my son is sleeping next to me with your music. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Thanks so much. Ah, oh, lovely. Um... Okay, I'm going to do The River because I just really enjoyed that song. Um, and oh, I need to go. Yeah, the sixth fret. Here we go. So if anyone's wondering, all of these songs are in Dadgad. D-A-D-G-A-D. Uh, And then what I'm what I'm mainly doing is just moving the the capo around, uh, kind of gives me a slightly different flavour, um, and also I play in different keys as well. I'm not just playing in the D minor or the D major or the open, you know, that open uh, key. I'm playing in in different different keys, which mixed with the open strings as well. Um, you know, gives a slightly different flavor. You can still tell it's Dadgad, but uh, gives a, a, a different touch to it each time. Um, so yeah, this one's called The River. And um, it's, it's, I got the inspiration from this when I was living on a canal boat in London. And, you know, it, a lot of people think when I say this, when I say I used to live on a boat, they think, <laughs> they think like, oh, you must have a lot of money then. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That's like luxury living, right? And it's it was far from that. It was far from that. Um, I bought a boat that for very cheap and I was living on it full time. And I, I was, I had to, it was, it was basically, there was nothing working on it. Uh, had to completely gut the whole thing and rebuild it from scratch. And I was like in my, how old was I? I was in my 20s. I was like mid-20s at this point. I knew nothing about boats. I'd never lived on a boat. I never, I'd hardly been on a boat at all. And I just bought this, this, this narrow boat, this canal boat. Um, and, you know, you have a lot of them because in London or all around the UK, you have these, these canals, you know, and they're quite, they're quite small, they're quite narrow, they're not like the canals you get in, in the Netherlands or in, in Germany or all around Europe, you know, it's, they're, they can, they're, they're bigger uh, rivers and canals. In the UK, they're quite small, so they have these narrow boats, they're basically narrow. Um, and if you haven't seen them, they're basically, they're this wide, it's this width, it's literally the width, I could, in my boat, I could touch either end of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's like living in a corridor, basically. Um, you know, but it's not too bad. It was okay. It was, uh, you know, and I was young and I was able to cope with whatever, pretty much. It was like camping. Um, but, you know, it was it was far from luxury living. At one point, my, I mean, my engine was breaking down all the time. And at one point, I was literally sinking uh, very slowly, you know, like, drip by drip and but I was still technically sinking um, and I don't know if you've ever slept 
in a boat that is sinking, uh, it's not a nice feeling. It's definitely not a nice feeling. Uh, knowing, worrying that, oh, what if the when you go to bed, what if the the leak gets worse overnight and suddenly I'm I'm underwater? You know, uh, it was it was definitely a bit anxious. Um, it's uh... <laughs> saying this now, it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty wild that I did that. Um, but anyway, I did it and and. Uh, I fixed the boat up and everything was fine and you know and I sold it when I when we moved here to to Berlin and everything but um during this you know you meet a lot of other people on the river on the canals and uh this is this is based around uh stories around this these sort of people that I met along the river it's called the river <laughs> She's a drunk, middle-aged mum She had children when she was too young Now is something you might be surprised Three different kids from three different guys She spends her time drinking away Drinking a special brew every day How did she end up this way? People walking past would say Down by the river You may find nothing but tit and tat Here at the river We all are just a bunch of for time to pass away Down by the river You may find nothing but tits and tat Here at the river We all are just a bunch of dad he's a nice guy a young father that doesn't know why he can't see his poor little son because all these things this kid's mother has done he has no money no job he'll do anything to burn a few bob you look at him and you might judge the holy 
feels for his son is love. Ooh. Down by the river, you may find nothing but tits and tat. Here at the river, we all are just a bunch of. was the river hope everyone's doing well on this saturday evening here in central european time and whatever time it is wherever you are hope you're having a good day um yeah Dale says, do you have a Patreon? Um, I don't, actually. I don't. Um, you know, that's something that I I probably will set up at some point. Um, but, you know, a lot of people have Patreons, and that's cool. And it's, uh, I think, like, I don't want to just set something up um, kind of half ass, you know? I don't want to set something up that's... that's uh, I want to, if I'm going to set something up like that, I want to really think it through, you know, and offer stuff that's really valuable to, to people, you know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I probably will be doing something like this in the future. Um, but I think for now, um, you know, I need to, I need to think about exactly what I can offer rather than just putting something up there, you know, um, but I appreciate you asking, thanks so much, you know, um, yeah, and, uh, of course, if anyone wants to, uh, tip me or buy me another, uh, tea, you can give me, uh, you're, you're more than welcome to give me a super chat on these, uh, live streams, I have no idea how it works, I've never done it before, but it's, uh, I got one the other the other stream, uh, which I was very surprised about. I was th thank you very much. <laughs> you know. um, but anyway, uh, I think you know what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one more because it's kind of approaching eleven here. Um, I don't. I you know I'll. I'll debate whether I'll 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 jump on Instagram. I don't know yet. If I do, it will only be for like ten minutes or something. Just just trying it out, messing around a little bit, you know. Um, well, it's funny. I haven't played this long in a while, you know. Uh, <laughs> My fingers are hurting. That hasn't happened in a long time. I'm enjoying myself too much. Um, I 
I just looked on your YouTube page. It looks like you do have a Patreon. Uh, nah, definitely don't. Um, unless I've set one up and forgotten about it. <laughs> that could, that sounds like me, to be honest. Um, let's have a look. On the about page, huh? Dale, was it? There's one of like join my community, uh, but that's not a that's not a Patreon. That's a um, that's just like a, a a free community that I have on my website. Is that what you mean? Um, yeah, just be interested to know where you see this Patreon. But uh, so this is I can actually show you on my screen. Look, boing, I can do that. Um, this is my YouTube channel, um, and so I've got like, I don't know if you can see that, actually, uh, you can't see to the bottom here, um, hold on, I can move it up slightly, what does it do that, oh, it doesn't even do it, <laughs> but you can kind of see it, it's uh, join my community website, oh, you can, uh, maybe you're thinking donate to the channel, that's just... That's literally just like a donate button I have on my website, <laughs> you know, uh, for anybody feeling uh, generous. <laughs> Sorry, I need to cough again. <coughs> ah, it's been it's it's so fun playing this, but I've just like wow, oh, my hat, my fingers are really like. Um, really uh, starting to hurt a little bit. Just it shows you like, I, I don't actually, for the time length wise, actually play for that long. You know, I do like short, like snippets of playing um, and I haven't done a gig in a while. Um, so I think I'm only gonna be able to make it through one more song guys. <laughs> <laughs> Both my voice and my uh, and my hand. Um, yeah, I'll see with the Instagram. I'll uh, I'll see. You can just jump over to Fabian Holland Music on Instagram. Um, and I don't have anything in this. Uh, I could probably like put something on this link actually. Um, Do, 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 copy link and then can I put that in the chat probably put that in the chat there you go I think that should work <laughs> so that's my Instagram account um, I'll have to see how I am to be honest after this after this uh, after this song <laughs> I'm pretty knackered um and uh yeah my fingers are on fire at the moment all right um so here we go this is hard time killing floor blues
Hard times are hidden everywhere you go Times is harder than ever been Lonesome song These hard times will drive you in so Times are hidden everywhere you go. Times is harder than ever been before. Boy, you say you have money, oh, you better be sure. Time.
Thanks so much, everyone. Um, yeah, really appreciate you guys uh, joining this live stream. Um, I'm pretty knackered. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta end it here. Um, but you know what? I might, I might just pop over to uh, to Instagram just for the, just for like ten minutes or so, um, just to, just to kind of have a bit of a chill out. Um, and just to see what that's like. I don't know. Instagram Live, that is, um, if you follow me. It's Fabian Holland Music. Um, but thanks so much, everyone. Uh, Dale, Joanne, um, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, Andy, Neil, uh, and everyone everyone that was, that was joining earlier um, and commenting and everything like that. It's, it's, it's really nice, you know, to... I can't, I can't really do much live gigs, but this is a way that I can really just uh, perform and, and connect. Ultimately, that's what I'm trying to do, as well as with other musicians as well. You know, we can talk about um, guitars and gear and, and connect. And uh, uh, that's, that's the main reason why I, I'm doing this. And I love, I love continuing to do this. Uh, so I really thank you, everyone, for for joining. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, before I go, actually, um, I just quickly mention uh, just on my community. If you don't know, uh, on my website is a little community I have, FabianHolland.com, um, and you can just go over to community, and it just just you you sign up and you get little pass password. It's completely free. Um, and I do little updates, and it, it's connected to these live streams. So, uh, like this one here, you go on Fabian Holland Music, and I do little vlogs and stuff and updates, and I tell you what's going to happen in the live streams, you know. Um, and like this one was, you know, people could leave a comment and um, and ask which which songs you know they want to hear in the live stream and stuff like this so it just kind of it's to get people talking before the live stream you know and coming up with ideas and also ideas that i can bring to these live streams as well um you know and so we've got like songwriting as well and guitar techniques i talk about uh, gear and live performance and of course recording techniques and you know um and each week i do a live stream about one of these topics and obviously this week was just my music um but next week i'll do it about a different topic but if you sign up to my mailing list it's in the description down below um then you know you'll be you'll be updated on what live streams will be about and we can talk about it beforehand and obviously you get uh, uh um vlogs and sort of lessons and sort of uh behind the scenes kind of stuff you know completely for free and it's a nice little community that i have that we have over there as well so uh yeah thank you everyone that's uh that's come to the live stream have a wonderful evening a morning afternoon wherever you are uh yeah thank you so much i hope that i recover from my cold um and if you're on Instagram, just head over to Instagram. I'm going to try and do a little uh, Instagram live. We'll see how that goes. This is my first time doing it. So as I've got it all set up, I'm just going to do it for the next couple of minutes. Uh, just a bit of downtime. Maybe I do some improvising or something. I don't know yet. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. And I will see you all in the next live stream. Bye-bye. <laughs>